Hey guys, I'm back to give you another Power Rangers Megazord review, and today I'm going to start reviewing one of the newer Megazords I just bought recently. I'm sure you saw it in my last collection video, so um, here I'll be reviewing the good old Power Rangers Ninja Storm, Storm Megazord. This was one of the first few Megazords, as I remember, that only used three Zords to make said Megazord for the main team, with of course one Zord dominating all others. Just like Dino Thunder, but Ninja Storm came first in that little threesome series. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, these all belong to the Wind Rangers, and they are, of course, the Hawk, the Dolphin, and, of course, the Lion. What was really interesting about these Zords is that they were all based on something different. Like, for instance, the Hawk was based on, you know, like a, like a jet plane, like a regular aircraft... That's what it would turn into upon upon being called upon. The dolphin was made from a ship, and the lion was made from a Ferris wheel. It's really confusing when you think about it, because because like if this was like a legit Ferris wheel, no no wait, I'm wrong I'm wrong wrong this this wasn't a Ferris wheel this was a roller coaster right this was a roller coaster, sorry. Yeah, um, you just have like all these things that hold people on it. And yet, they transform. So, like, just imagine if you were actually in this plane, well, this Hawk Zord, and then it transformed. You First, you'd be in the plane, going on your way to Japan or whatever, and then you're, in, then you're inside of a Zord. I don't know if these were, like, special, like, machines made just for the Rangers, or, like, it was just, or just, this was implied that they were based on these machines, um... Ah, it's just too confusing, not really important, um... Well, that's just them. In a, in a nutshell, let's talk about the individuals right now. Start off with, uh... uh Shane's Zord, the Hawk. Smallest of, of the group. Pretty nice in terms of detailing, except it does have, um... Does have a few scratches along the eyes, if you can see it. A couple of scuffs in uh, the black paintwork on top of its head. But really, other than that, and the little scuffs of black right down here at the bottom, there's not much really to complain about on this guy. Um, just in terms of the um, articulation, his wings can fold back, fold forward, and, you know, bend out like that. Only if you're going to form the head. And its tail, up, down, up, down, head. Neck, you can just snap it in half, I don't care what you do with it. Yeah, the Hawk, not much you can do with it here, but then again, doesn't really matter. Out of the way, next is the Dolphin, controlled by Tori. Not much to talk about on this one in, in terms of detailing. It is, it is as if it's just taken right out of the box. There's no, there's like no scratches, no real tear. No wear at all. Everything looks pretty good. In terms of the art, in terms of the articulation, the tail can bend up, and that helps to reveal the hole, which will be used to connect it to the side of the line to make the arm. You can spin the little circle thing here around. I for I forget what this thing was used for. If someone could maybe tell me what this was used for, that'd be really great. I'd really appreciate it. So not much you can really do here, except just to pull out the head, but that's only to uh, make part of the arm. So that is the dolphin, and now the lion, controlled by the one and only Dustin. Now his Zord is of course the dominant one of them all, and as you'll notice, it's kind of ironic when it comes to the Dino Thunder. The yellow was the smallest in Dino Thunder, while the Ninja Swarm, yellow was the tallest, and red was the tallest in Dino Thunder, but... It's the small one in Ninja Storm, and the blue one, well, it just remains the same, but no one really cared. What I really like about this guy, is that you get to really have fun with him. Just spin him around, just like that. Mouth can open up, rawr, rawr, rawr. Originally, the Megazord came with a little pull string that you could that you could fit right inside this little, this little slot right here. Just put it in there all the way, then vroom, the thing would just start spinning around. Just like it does when it uh, is called upon by Dustin. Half the minutes, pretty good, pretty good. 
the foot articulation just bends at the foot and his whole entire arm, I mean his back legs can just flip up, but really not much you can do there unless you just want to transform him, but his arms can go out all the way, can't really bend too much with uh, his front paws except just, just that, but really not much you can really do just for that. So that's really just um, the basics, so now let's get to the part that you actually came here for, that's the transformation. To transform it first we're going to take, well, the line first, we're going to fold his feet all the way to the back, like that. This one will click in place, at least for mine, mine's too loose, so that's why it's not, you know, really working. And, and as you'll see, the, the uh, tab right here between the lion's legs is broken, that's why they don't really connect in. Originally supposed to be like this, but, but it's broken, so not much I can do there. And then you push on these two buttons here to bring down the f legs. So there we go, we got that. Then you snap the lion's head off, get that off to the side. You just fold back the arms, and they'll just click into place. Take the lion's head, pull down the fist, and that will just connect to the side like so. So now you got practically most of the Megazord. Next, take the dolphin, snap its tail, pull the head up, just pull it up, remove the little arm, well, hand like so, and then it just connects to the side. Sometimes you gotta like hold onto the tail a little bit just to get it all the way in. So now we got the other arm. And finally, you take the hawk, flip the tail in the back so it'll click, head goes all the way down, and the wings fold all the way in to reveal the Japanese rising sun, pull down the head, and then there are two little connectors up here, well actually four, one, two, three, four, they go in the first two, and there you have got yourself the Storm Megazord. I have to admit that even though this is one of the kind of easiest Megazords to ever put together, it still is pretty good. I actually like the way that they have a nice balance of red, yellow, and blue, and not like it's all completely dominated by just red, just like in a Thunderstorms Megazord. I mean, this has a nice balance of all three colors, so like it's not showing that yellow is all dominant. So it has its fair share of um, color on here. That's something that I really, really like. Um, in terms of actual detailing, um, he's, he just looks, he just looks fantastic, I mean, there's really nothing much to actually complain about, just not much at all you can really say, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, lack from the little pull string that you can use to make the, to make the wheel spin on the lion's head, yeah, it's a minor part missing, but, yeah, it's not really important. And of course, like every Megazord, it has to have a weapon, so we have to open up the little chest here, and right there is the weapon. And it's always the sword that comes with the store Megazord. So let's just close this one back up. Now, originally, the sword comes in a little plastic ball that fits perfectly inside the chest, and that's how it is for all the other weapons that were in the Megazord toy line. Each weapon was something different. I don't, I don't know all of them right off the top of my head. This is the only one that I actually really even cared about. And unfortunately, when I bought the Megazord, this one didn't come with the ball for the sword. But hey, at least the sword fits perfectly inside the whole cavity here. So it's, it's alright. So the sword, to assemble that, you just pull it out. It'll snap into place. Open up the little wings here. Then there's a little handle in the back, you just pull it down, and then just connect it in like so, and you got yourself the sword. What's also interesting about the Megazord, if I may take the sword out real quick, is that these hands have got, have got the ability to open up and close on their own. They're not just complete bricks and you just have like one single fist like most other Megazords have. This one has the open hands for both Megazords, which I think is a really smart idea. 
wish more Megazords had this, but, uh, who knows, maybe Megaforce will give us something nice. For me, to, to make things easier, let's just open up the fist, put the sword in, and then, like that, that really keeps it nice and tight. So that gives it a, so that gives it a nice look. Articulation in terms of feet, can't do much. He's just a brick standing, just like before, just 360 all the way around. Nothing really spectacular in terms of the Megazord articulation, but he just looks so good. I, it just actually just makes up for the minor flaws it has. I mean, look at the color, look at the stance, look at, look at how it looks. I mean, come on, who really wouldn't want this in their collection? Besides Disney haters. Of course, I'm not really a Disney hater, or else I wouldn't have bought it. So yeah, definitely pick this guy up if you want to complete your Power Ranger collection like I, like I do. And if you want to just want to have another Megazord for your collection, or you just love Ninja Storm, just pick him up. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the uh, other two Megazords. I actually do want to get um, like the two other main Megazords for this series. Controlled, of course, by Hunter, Blake, and Cam, but uh, I'm not really certain if I want to do that at this current moment in time. I mean, got other stuff I want to buy, looking for some other things. I actually want to expand my collection beyond the Power Rangers universe right now. Maybe maybe start some DVD collections, I don't know. Maybe you'll see that. Hey, you'll just have to find out. But there you go. Well, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. I'll see you around next time. So, take care of yourselves.